Alright guys, here's part two. <laughs> I'm sure it's more than part two, but uh, that was part one. So, we'll get ready to lift this cab off of this chassis. And I've got it all unhooked. Everything's unhooked now. Okay, let's see how many things I snag and <laughs> how many things actually aren't unhooked. And no, I didn't forget the emergency brake cable. So it should, uh, should, 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 should come straight up. Let's see. Set y'all down right here. Okay. Let's go. Out good got my shifter to come out you can see there's a massive massive hole cut in that floorboard <laughs> and that's uh that's basically how they left it too this was an automatic truck but yeah the little um little ground tabs here that uh these little ground straps ground to one on the other side just creaking up the back of the bed and we're just about to clear it so let me put you back down that one came off uh, 
relatively problem free. No ups and downs anyway. See what the uh, monstrosity looks like over here. I mean, it's just a cluster of wires and mass and, and everything. But um, yeah, uh, that cab will sit a lot lower on this frame, which will make it a lot nicer. Um, see how the Dodge frames drop down. That's what I was saying the other day, they have a large hump in the back for mounting your, um, your bed. But the cab will sit nice and low, and then after the front end gets lowered down even more, the tires will tuck right up underneath them fenders over there. So, it'll look cool. Now all we gotta do is make our space for the engine to fit under the dash and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, it's kind of why I bought this lift post was to pick Corvettes off of the frame which I have done a bunch of times already first time I pulled the Dodge off <laughs> but it worked great so all right now I've got to uh, make sure I got clearance move my uh, steering column and stuff so I don't hit it when I pull this out I'm gonna pull this out set that down on um, my trailer car trailer and then pull this back in pull the bed off and then um, take the front bumper off and, you know, all that stuff there. Adapt, bend, mold, fit, all the good stuff. See where my um, marks have to be for my chassis on the 42, where it has to mount. But, um, yeah, makes it easy when you, or easier <laughs> when you have some of the bolt hole markings right here. I mean, you have cab holes just seems to me make it a little bit nicer to have certain holes to make measurements from from one side to the other and then uh, transfer your measurements it's kind of kind of that simple all right guys let me um, get this chassis out get that cab out get the bed off Get this chassis back in and start um, figuring and thinking, molding. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.